Welcome to the introduction to IBM Rational Asset Analyzer, software asset inventory static analysis tool that uh, can help you understand your applications. No matter what part of uh, software development life cycle you are dealing with, there are external drivers that will force you to make changes. Whenever you need to do something with your applications, first you need to understand what you have or what you are getting. Asset Analyzer is software that allows you to take the inventory of software artifacts, whether those are mainframe artifacts or distributed artifacts. It collects that inventory into a relational database allows you to explore the inventory, find out dependencies and relationships between those artifacts, then puts some additional tooling and analysis tools on top of that, including the impact analysis engine or rule mining for COBOL, and delivers that knowledge to your business analysts, system analysts, developers, testers, project manager, anyone with browser access to the machine on which Asset Analyzer resides. Additionally, Asset Analyzer provides a plugin to Rational Developer for System Z, the development environment, bringing the power of Asset Analyzer directly to the people that are making changes to the code. And Asset Analyzer provides RESTful API that allows to programmatically access the data in Asset Analyzer, for example, for uh, inclusion in dashboards, documentation, portfolio analysis, uh, or other companion tooling. The scanning can occur on ZOS or on Windows, depending on the version of Asset Analyzer that you decide to use. If you set it up to continually update Asset Analyzer content with any changes you make to your software and applications, you will always have interactive access to the knowledge about your applications that are running your business. Let's go to a demo of the product. After logging in, we start on the homepage of Asset Analyzer. The first layer of the knowledge asset analyzer provides are the numbers. You can see common assets here that asset analyzer knows about. We'll show the ZOS assets. Take a brief look at the types of asset that asset analyzer can understand. Runtime assets, program assets, data assets. We'll navigate to distributed assets, the container assets, Java site, web, and other. Also web services, including Kix web services. We'll take a look at rule mining assets. We'll take a look at custom queries. and user-defined relationships. Back to the home page. From the first layer, the numbers lead us to summary pages. On summary pages, we can drill down to the details. In this case, I'm drilling down into application details. In application details, I'll go to MVS assets. MVS assets, here I'm going to look at programs. And I'm um, looking at the summary page of programs. I'm going to look at the program details page. Take a look at uh, the layout of the page. The details page layout contains area with attributes, the relationships of closely related assets, and actions that allow to invoke additional functionality. The program control flow diagram is an example of advanced functionality. From the details pages, you can apply the process of exploration. You can find closely related assets. For a program, you can see included files. 
you can see control transfers out and in you can see bad jobs that invoke this program and you can navigate to those related assets let's go to this bad job this bad job has two run units one is that is resolved by our program but we can also see an advanced functionality run unit diagram bad job that invokes a utility run unit the utility run unit invokes run unit with our program we can see that our program uses several data stores and invokes another program and this program in turn is accessing the database let's jump to RIA impact analysis impact analysis engine is a very powerful feature of asset analyzer impact analysis engine traces the impact through data flow of artifacts that asset analyzer can understand uh, to the statement level and through others that are asserted by the user through user-defined relationships let's take a look at an example where starting point for analysis was Java bytecode class and that revealed that impacted by the change of this uh, Java bytecode class would be following artifacts and because we have user-defined relationship asserted by the user we can navigate from this impact to programs that we know on the mainframe side we see that the EJBs are impacted other methods Java bytecode methods the details view of uh, that impact analysis gives you the list of potential artifacts that need to be looked at if the change needs to happen before I let you go a quick view of uh, the RDZ plugin Eclipse uh, interface of asset analyzer with functionality delivered to the people that are actually changing the code allowing them to see the work that they are doing in the context of the enterprise inventory of artifacts take a quick look at our rest interface at assets list of supported assets and uh, we can drill down here to programs as well as we have before and we can continue finding out the details this interface allows you to bring in uh, the data in uh, HTML JSON or XML formats thank you very much I hope you enjoyed this demo and presentation